All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And do I have what I think is a very cool video for you guys today. So I needed a Glock 17 for a project a few months ago. And my buddy Dale said, hey, I got a Gen 3 Glock. You can borrow for a little bit. Great. So I had the gun, did the project, and then I kind of kept it. I kept it longer than I should have. And um, I feel bad. So I said, hey, you know what? I have this LFA slide. Uh, let me stick it on for him, maybe put some sights and then you know, at least give him back a nicer Glock. You know what I mean? Took this slide, I was gonna go down to a gunsmith and I thought, well, how hard could it be? I mean, I started thinking about taking this original Glock slide apart, maybe changing the spring and all that stuff over to this one. And I was like, you know, let's just get an upper parts kit because they're not too expensive. Heck, I think I went on eBay and I got a, an upper parts kit from Leo Precision for like 35, 40 bucks. Not gonna break the bank. And I think it's going to be a lot easier than trying to cannibalize this slide to put everything on this slide. So, so that is one problem solved, but this slide also doesn't have any sights on it. So I reached out to my friends at XS Sights and they were nice enough to send over this suppressor high sight Glock set. And uh, man, it's really cool. Changing sights is something I've actually done before. That's probably the only gunsmithing I've ever done. But I've changed sights on a couple 1911s and uh, how hard could a Glock be, right? So what is the very first step in installing all these parts onto this Glock slide? I have no idea. So I'm gonna go on Google here and look for a video really quick. Hold on. All right, so I'm looking at Google and there's a bunch of videos on how to assemble a Glock slide. And there's only one problem. Uh, one of these is 40 minutes. One is 15 minutes. One is a 12 minutes, 21 minutes. Here's one under seven minutes. That's the one I'm gonna click. So for all you guys out there doing YouTube, if you're doing a how-to video, just get to the, the nuts and bolts to it. Have clear instructions and don't make the video very long because I'm always gonna pick the lowest video first to check out. And um, yeah, it looks like a lot of other people do because this has 35,000 views. It's how to assemble a Glock slide by 80% lowers. Great, sounds good. Heck. It looks just like the slide I'm assembling here, so that's even better for me. All right, now we all know how weird YouTube is about assembling Glock parts or assembling guns or assembling anything gun related. So uh, I can't show any of that on this channel. All right, now let's check all these parts out. Okay, uh, I would be lying if I told you I knew what any of this stuff was. And I don't. You know, I'm learning just like everyone else, but I got to tell you, if I can put this together, I mean, we got some springs here and some, some other cool stuff. So let me watch the video, do the instructions, and I'll be right back with an assembled, kick-ass, cool Glock 17. Oh, man, that was so flippin' easy. And there you go, chest for function. There you go. All right. You know, it's still a Glock, it's still a little ugly, but man, it's starting to grow on me. Now we just have to install these sights. How hard could this be? Again, thank you to XS Sights, you guys are the best. Let's see if we can uh, put more lipstick on this pig. All right, guys, check this out. Everything's installed, check it out. Very, very cool. I gotta tell you, this was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. You know, it's, it's stages in gun ownership. You know, you first you buy a gun, then you start messing around with different calibers and then different guns. And then, um, you know, I started, you know, changing my own sights. Now I did the upper assembly and it's taken the fear out of working on your own guns. And it's just another evolution in gun ownership. People give me grief all the time. Oh, why don't you work on your own guns? I'm like, well, just, I don't know, man. I just didn't want to mess it up, but it was super easy to do. I encourage anybody out there, definitely tackle a project like this because it's a lot of fun. And I have to say a thank you to my subscribers who actually push me more in that direction because I get a lot of comments. Hey, you should work on your own guns. You don't need a gunsmith, blah, 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 blah. And um, for a long time, I thought this was over my head to do. And that's why I think I had it for, you know, uh, a long time. So Dale, I hope you like this pistol. I hope it brings you lots of enjoyment. And uh, I'm sorry I kept it so long, but uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.